Hello, Simon. Um, I don't normally work on Sundays, and I certainly don't normally make videos on Sundays. I usually take one day a week to do videos. Um, but you and I have been talking a lot, and your situation is sort of unique um, because of the issues that you're dealing with. Here's your watch. It's, as I said in my email, it's every bit as bad as I anticipated that it would be, um, except in one regard. So let's talk about the bad things. The, the movement just, it just won't run at all. You can see that it's like, it's, the movement is hazy. It's, it's worn. It's had a lot of water in it. Um, it won't run at all. It won't run at all. The screws are wrong. That's the wrong screw. This is, I believe the wrong screw or it's been ground down, which I don't understand. Um, the, the balance will move, but the watch won't run in, at all. Not in the least. Um, so they sold this as service weeks ago, good to go, but air travel may damage it, which is a load of hogwash. Uh, it doesn't it, it doesn't work that way. Whenever anybody says air travel may damage your watch, may thicken the oils or any of that nonsense, that means that they're trying to cheat you. Um, so this UK-based seller is a prime example of why I only buy from the United States and Australia, because there's so many sellers in the UK that are repackaging Philippines reworks and then selling them as though they were decent watches and then new collectors and people who are new to this world are taken in and Induced to part with money for watches that they should not and it makes me feel terrible for for buyers for good people like yourself The watch I don't know what I'm gonna find in this movement. It doesn't tick at all I, I have no idea what I'm gonna find when I pull this thing apart It's also missing a bunch of stuff like the movement ring spring is not there and you know they they didn't they the, the I mean obviously I shouldn't be able to do that I just popped the stem out you can also see that the crown seal is bad it's flat that should be a nice high round donut seal they didn't even bother putting new seals in it they just they just found some old movement and jammed it together um, let's let's talk cosmetics let's talk cosmetics. One thing that they do well sometimes is they do casework. Okay. Oh, and one thing, by the way, that's a complete blessing in your case, in this case, is that amazingly for a Philippines rework, the case is not pitted. So the ceiling surfaces appear to be good. That's great. I'll know more when I pull this thing apart. These seals are not good. Um, I'm going to have to assume the crystal seal is bad as well. But the 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 casework is not is not bad. So you wanted a watch that was presentable for doing you know business, you know wearing with a suit. And this case w should function for that. We can see that the dial shows all the classic hallmarks of life in a hot and wet and sunny environment. It's deeply faded and dingy. Um, the watch is, of course, not running at all. This is an original Seiko sweep hand, but it's been badly painted, just sort of daubed on there, badly relumed. Everything is faded. It's it's tough. So we have a decent-looking case, but the rest of it is junk. This is what one of these is supposed to look like. This watch is completely original uh, in every respect. I mean, it's got some dings on the case, some hacking, things like that. You know, some dings on here. And I know you wanted something prettier. So my suggestion was that we could, you could basically purchase this watch from me, trade in the bits inside here, and I don't even know what I'm gonna find. And then I would basically make one decent watch with this interior and this exterior because it's got good sealing surfaces, that's a good place to start. It needs all new seals, which you'd get the refinished case look on the outside with this look on the inside. Uh, the only thing that I would might, I don't know, it's just, that's what I would do. As you can see, look at the bright orange marks, and the nice clean contrast between the, the charcoal black dial and the, and the silver sub dials with the orange hash marks. This is completely original. So the, the loom does show some patina. Uh, and it's right on the borderline of, of the point that I would consider relooming. It has a little bit of lightness and darkness. It's missing a little bit right down here. One could, in theory, reloom this watch. Um, but that would be an additional service that we'd want to talk about if you wanted to do that or leave it the way that it is.
It's up to you. But that is what they're supposed to look like. Right there. That's a good watch. And it's ready to go. This is fully serviced. So this is a this is a, a flip that could happen fairly quickly for you. So you let me know what you want done. On your other watch, on that weird... Uh, not, I don't want to say weird. But I don't know what it is. On that Mercedes watch, I don't know. All that matters in terms of value is if it's genuine or not. If it's a Chinese copy of a Valju 7750 or if it is um, an actual genuine Valju 7750. But I'd need to see it to know. So anyway, that's the option I'm offering you. If you'd like that to happen, we can certainly make that happen. And uh, you let me know. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.